home and native land, Toronto's newest pulp culture podcast, covering your favorite comics, collectibles, media, nerdific origin stories, and more. Hosted by your northern neighbor, Joey Pengelinen. Here it is, nerdos and nerdettes. Comics Inc. Welcome to Comics Inc. This is Joey. I'm in Stadium Comics right now mm-hmm. with a beautiful Ricky Lima. And yeah. <laughs> what should we introduce, Kevin, now that I called you beautiful? <laughs> you have to go better than beautiful. I can't have Ricky. Uh... Um, the immaculate, immaculate. yeah majestic. sure we can go with that with majestic we can go yeah. with majestic right, majestic uh kevin hickey how are you guys today Pretty good. good yeah. very good we just finished um one of their unboxing wednesday music uh, not music video sorry videos yeah today there was a music element to it yeah. for sure yeah, yeah. yeah. You, got to see, you got to peel back the curtain and, and i did uh, go behind the scenes of our uh it was intimidating show, being with uh yeah. these um Celebrities, shall I say? No. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. A list, no. like yeah. S rank celebrities over here. I thought like B list because double, B for Brampton. No, I think but... triple, triple Z, triple D. Yeah. Z. Um, so st- let's start off with Ricky. We want to know your origin story. Tell yeah. us a little uh, bit about right. yourself. So I was bitten by a radioactive spider. Mm, very good. Uh, then I died from the radiation. Yeah. Yeah. And then I came back, and uh, here we are. Yeah. I don't know. I uh, bitten. <laughs> how did you get into the, the whole comics thing? Yeah. Like, how, how did that happen? Yeah, well, my brother collected comics in the 90s. He's one of those speculators. So you yeah. bought a lot of those crappy 90s books. And then you would put them on his wall, and I'd always be like, whoa, look at these. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then the, also, like, the 90s shows and stuff, like the X-Men and stuff. Yeah. So as much as the 90s killed the comic industry, it also helped to introduce a lot of people, too. Are you reading anything new right now? Um... Reading is, uh, I'm looking at a lot of books. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to sit down and actually read them, but I'm looking at a lot of them and buying them in, uh, in hopes of reading them in the future. So, like Batman White Knight, I've been uh, checking out. Very good. I just picked up that Batman Man Who Laughs, which is weird because I don't like read a lot of DCs, so, but I'm picking up a lot of Batman. So. That's okay. Is it usually Marvel for you? Or? Yeah, usually Marvel. Yeah. Cool, Make cool. mine Marvel, guys. Yeah. <laughs> You have a new hashtag going on now. Make it for Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Um, any advice for new readers that have no idea about comics at all? You've been in this world. Yeah, uh, just yeah. jump into anything and just kind of go from there. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of people are like, well, i got to read, like, from the beginning. You don't. I no. mean, comics are written so that you don't have to, especially with graphic novels now. I mean, yeah. you could just pick up one and then just read it. And then if you're confused, you could just Wikipedia it if you care. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. That's or you can day. ask Stadium Comics yeah, to go. order the back uh, catalog yeah. in graphic novel form Holy for God. lots and lots of money. <laughs> That's okay, too, if you don't want to go the Wikipedia route. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That was an advertising on the first podcast, though, uh, right? Yeah. It was <laughs> no, no, It was, it was a, mild, mild no, suggestions. It's just a suggestion. Right, right, <laughs> right. For the, for the people out there. Makes sense. Um, do you have an all-time favorite comic book? Uh, I'm going to say right now it's Thor God of Thunder, the Jason Aaron, uh, he said Ribic run, just because it's like so epic. Everything about mm-hmm. it is just so epic. The way you said Ribic draws and the way Jason Aaron writes is like fuses together to make a story that's like amazing. But then they tried to do it again in the Doctor Strange run that Jason mm-hmm. Aaron did, like the exact same story, and then it kind of ruined everything for me. But <laughs> Thor's still pretty good. So. Thor's a good guy. Perfect. Um, what was your earliest memory in a comic book store? You remember that? It was actually Stadium Comics. Me and my friend Bruno used to come in, in here and buy like their dollar books, and they, they'd all just be trash. Was that before <laughs> Rob and I owned it, or like yeah, yeah, yeah. way before you guys? Okay. Owned it, yeah. mm. Rob worked here. Yeah. Did Rob ever like accuse you guys of stealing? Like <laughs> Most likely, uh, yeah. Probably, yeah. How long has Rob been here for? Jesus. Oh God, um, Rob's been here since uh, probably he's probably closing in on twenty years. Oh, my gosh. But he looks 20 years old. <laughs> that doesn't make good. sense he at all. Yeah, he was, was born, born here, here at the back where Robert, the new comics Robert are. got a job here, uh, I think, just uh, just after high school or when we started college. Rob was working here. So it's probably, yeah, about, you know, year 2000, 2000, 
in the early 2000s, mm-hmm. maybe even late 90s. But yeah, I was in high school that time yeah. still. I was still learning. My mind was still like molding and forming to education. <laughs> Rob stopped um, learning once he started coming to work at <laughs> the comic star. So. Bag and board, bag and board, bag yeah. and board. That's life. Um, and of course, uh, Kevin, mm-hmm. I'd like to ask you a few of the same questions <laughs> as well. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, a little bit about me. Um, I um, have had a long love affair with comics. Um, going back. Does your to... wife know about that? <laughs> oh yeah, she knows. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. very good. I hear about it every day. <laughs> uh, I would say the defining like moment for me, for w- what made me a comic fan, was um, uh, all of the hype around the 1989 Batman movie with. Um, uh, the Tim Burton movie with Michael mm-hmm. Keaton. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of like my first introduction to uh, the world of uh, comic books because when that movie came out, I wanted to go buy Batman comic books. Yeah. Um, also, before that, I would say like all the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. I was a huge fan of those when me I was too. Like, really, really young. Yeah. Um, but the, the Batman movie in particular made me want to go and read more about this character. Um, so um, from there... Um, uh, I, I've been into comics for a long time since then, and then uh, the opportunity came up uh, in 2008 for Rob and I to uh, purchase this comic store, Stadium Comics, from the owner who was retiring, and we jumped at the opportunity, and that's uh, what I've been doing ever since. That's risque. Very risque. Yeah, that's risque. Yeah. These are risque people I'm talking to yeah, here. we like to take risks. Yeah. Um, Ricky's jumping off of a cliff later. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he's done. But you won't see that because it's a podcast. So right. You just have some vision. Yeah. Feel it. They'll just hear the, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Plop. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have a pair of shoes now. No, man. No net, no pair of shoes. No, you were, you were talking about the Christopher Reeves movies. I yeah. think that's probably where I really was like, oh my God, like there's something here. Right. You know, um, when I was a kid though, I remember because I grew up in the Philippines for a little Mm -hmm. bit. um, All of our cartoons were reruns from like 10 years prior. So, yeah. So I, you know, I I saw a lot of like the Japanese stuff um, and, but it was the Super Friends. So Super Friends was like on yeah. its first run in the Philippines when, you yeah, the when it was oh, eight, eight, 89 or something. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I really liked the the narration in that one and I, I was really drawn into it. And there was um, 66 Batman. Do you guys remember right. the new VR, that yeah. channel? Yes. Yeah, I was so, about that. I was so like... When, when the 1989 Batman movie came out, <laughs> I became such a fan of the 66 Batman because they started replaying it all the time yeah. on like the new VR and, uh, and, and other channels. And I would get my... Um, uh, I would get... I would buy blank VHS tapes from... Oh my uh, God, that's Kmart, throwing it back, yeah. And I would, uh, I would, I would record... All, I tried to get all of the episodes of Batman because back then, yeah. you know, no internet. Would you uh, would you do it so that you cut out the commercials, like you press pause? If if I was home yeah, and able that. to watch it, yes, I would try to take out the commercials. But if I had to like set a timer, uh, mm-hmm. I, was the house. I had yeah. to do that with Days of Our Lives. Yeah, yeah, I really started questioning myself in that show for sure. Yeah, that, yeah. that guy Victor, you gotta watch out for him. Did you watch Days of Our Lives? Victor, man, he's, yeah. he's like he's like a modern day Bruce Wayne, but like evil. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I was about Billy, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, Victor is no, a, I, I, a character. I, I just, whatever my mom was watching at, at lunch <laughs> That's exactly the way. I went home, that's, that's what I would... I was, absorb. but I was also like, can we, like, switch it to Sailor Moon and then Dragon Ball Z back right. in the, the YTV days? But, so then now that we've talked about a few different Batmans, who would you consider as your Batman? Hmm. Good question. I, right? would, I would have to say it was it was Michael Keaton because that that's like the movie that sparked all of my interest in yeah. in, uh, in comics. Yeah. So I would I would go with Michael Keaton. What about you, Ricky? Uh, I'm gonna go with jeez, oh, I don't know. Uh, Val Kilmer. Yeah. <laughs> no, can I can I just pick right the way Riley Rossmo draws Batman? That's sure. Like yeah, of course. Batman. Wow. Yeah. No yeah. bat nips in this corner of the yeah. office. Uh, oh, is that Val Kilmer? No, Batnips was uh, Clooney. Clooney. Yeah. yeah. I just like that one scene where he breaks a glass and he's like, let's get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's your part. defining yeah, that's, that's so good because it comes out of nowhere. It's like, what? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, I think it's probably Adam West. And a lot of people were like, <laughs> yeah, but he's like the joke, like the 
the bat joke of all the Batmans. And I'm like, yeah, but when I was a kid and like things were happening in the Batcave and action was happening, like I was a kid. So I'm thinking that's real. Yeah. You know, like the same thing as like when I used to watch like Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. Exactly. And I'm thinking like, man, she's never going to get out of that rope, you know? (laughs) (laughs) And it was like the loosest rope ever. And it was like, no, man, this is not going to end. Like that's, that's it for her. So I also I, yeah. I I loved how the like '60s Batman, the Adam West Batman, always had like the cliffhanger episodes. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we should have more cliffhanger episodes yeah. of Unboxing Wednesdays. Right, we'll we make should that. end on a cliffhanger yeah. like each week, like like as a, you're about to see what the new comics are, we cut you off and we're like, ah, oh, yeah. that's more, it. More like life threatening <laughs> situations. Any, like, yeah. will Ricky uh, get yeah. demolished by this laser beam? <laughs> and it needs to be like, there's absolutely no way they can survive whatsoever. Right. And then the next episode just starts like regulating. Like, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. What? <laughs> what happened to that cliffhanger? We'll check back with, uh, with uh, fanboy Santa, see what he thinks. Mm, yeah. For the 2018. Uh, I still haven't seen him yet. No, <laughs> it's too bad. One of these days I'll run into him, I guess. I guess. We'll see what we can do. I mean, like, the thing about him is that he's so fast. Yeah, you yeah. Know, he's, he's like uh, very fast. He's, he's a busy man this time of year, I guess, you know? He is. Like, if I tried to see Fanboy Santa in August, like, there's a chance. Easy. There's a chance, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Um, and I wanted to know where, my, where I'm supposed to find you in social media. Do you guys have the, the Twitters and the Facebooks yeah, and the do. Instagrams? Yeah, um, we So the, our, we're most active on Facebook. So facebook.com slash stadium yeah, comics. Because we're old people. Or are we most... Old-ish. <laughs> um, and, then, and then YouTube after that. So our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash stadium comics. So we do a, a weekly YouTube show showing the new comics each week. Uh, we've been doing it since 2010. Never missed an episode. 372 mm-hmm. episodes to date. I, f- I feel like we've missed a week. We haven't. No, no, we've, we... we've gone 372 weeks straight. We've not yeah. missed an episode. It might have been like late getting an episode out for a week, but... Mm. Mm, there was that one time yeah. recently that the truck was missed, and you guys yes, still did one. we still did an episode. Or there was a, f- yeah. there was a fire, fire in the mall in the one mall. time, yeah. and we shot some video out in the parking lot, and yeah. then waited for the... <laughs> Yeah. See, that's the kind of cliffhanger that we need yep. in unboxing. But I can't ask like Cinnabon to start a fire all the time. Right? No, they can't. not that I did that before. No, but, that you was know, me. if Cinnabon started a fire, at least it would smell really. Oh, it really would good. smell amazing. Or Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell would pretty, yeah. Um, and down. then, uh, as far as the other social media, um, uh, Instagram. Uh, we're stating comics on there. We're pretty active there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twitter, you can find us on there. We're not as active on Twitter anymore as mm-hmm. we used to be, but. Um, um, yeah, I'm kind of dying on Twitter too. What about you? Uh, Instagram, I'm king.k.rule, R U L E. Twitter, I'm at King K Rule. Not the British musician, but the <laughs> Ricky Lima musician. <laughs> there you go, guys. So that was uh, our uh, first or second or first uh, it's second. Gonna be first. It's, it's going to be the first. first. Yeah, uh, even, yeah. if, even if it's like the second one that shows up on your site. Yeah. It's going to be the variant episode. Everybody, please just be aware that uh, Joey yeah. has not uh, recorded her first episode yet. So this is technically no. the first episode. Exactly. So we stamped that. Yeah. With stadium stamps. Yeah, even if you post this like next year, is the first episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I'm 42. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not 42. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for listening and uh, watch out for our next podcast. Thank you, Mr. Lima, as I always call you, and Kevin Hickey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Awesome. Bye. Thanks.